Let's now see how we can write some text to a file using Python and then open that file with a text editor to verify that what we wrote was actually there. In order to write text into a file, there are several things that we need to have. First of all, we need to have the text that we are going to write. In this case, I'm going to hard code some text and assign it to a variable. Once we have the text that we're going to put into the file, then there are several steps to doing the actual file writing. First of all, we have to execute an open statement. The open statement creates a connection between the data file that we have given by name and also establishes what kind of connection we're going to have with the file. This argument, w, means that we are going to write to the file, and the T indicates that the thing that we're going to write to the file is text. We can also specify an argument that says what the character encoding is. This is optional, but I recommend putting this in here just to make sure that the encoding is done correctly. Once we've opened the connection to the file, we assign that to a file object. And then there are several methods that we could perform on that file object. One is to write the text that we have stored in this variable into the file object. However, it doesn't go directly into the file. It actually goes into a sort of file buffer. Uh, so you can do a number of write operations without it necessarily going and being stored into the data file itself. That actually is forced to happen when we close the file. So when we, once we close the file, then we should be able to see the text written in an actual file on our computer. Before we run this script, let's just check the directory where the file is going to be saved and to make sure that the file data file.txt isn't actually there. And you can see that it's not. If I run this code cell, however, and go back to that data file. Now I see that data file.txt is here. If I double click on it, my computer is set so that text files are open with the text edit application. And I can see that the text is indeed in that file that I saved. I can also perform the same operations using a slightly different format. If I want to avoid having to put the close statement, I can use this form of the open statement with open and then the same uh, arguments as before, but as a file object. And what that will do is to allow me to specify the lines of code that I want it to execute in the form of an indented code block. So we see the same kind of structure here as we did before, a colon and a indentation. Then here's the code that's gonna be executed. Once that indented code block is finished, then the close operation will automatically be done on the file object. I don't have to explicitly say that. So this essentially allows me to make my code slightly more compact by getting rid of the close statement. The other change that I made was also to allow the user to input whatever text they want. So when we try running this script, you can see that I can type whatever I want. And I will press enter. Now when we go back and look at what is in the data file now, we can see that the contents of the file have changed according to what I typed in.